And Luke Stoltman, what you can see on his face there, he knows he's got a lot to do here. He really needs these points, doesn't he? But standing, well, next to him and in his way, Brian Shaw. This is a, a tough guy to go against uh, at the best of times. When it comes to overhead pressing, this is the one event Brian Shaw is super dominant at. So Luke Stoltman, he's going to have to do particularly well in these pairs. This is the one element Brian and everyone else does not know much about. This is a new one this year. Ho oh, oh, ho! But he's not bad at it, is he? Like it's nothing. That's the uh, the strongman equivalent of the mic drop, <laughs> the, the weight drop. I can't believe it. That's terrifying from Brian Shaw. Just chucking them straight up there, snatching them up if you like. He was a weightlifting term and. Uh, well, I'm afraid Luke Stoltman is struggling here, and Brian's on to the bit he likes most, the monster dumbbell. Well, absolutely. Very much the end-of-level boss for this uh, event. It's most reps. It's a straight shootout once you get to this point. That's his second. Yes. Now, Luke Stoltman, he, he heard that. 35 seconds left to go here. And Shaw's already clocked two up. There's number three on this monster dumbbell, and Luke Stoltman's yet to get one. Oh, that's not a good start. It is so heavy, 220 pounds. You try and hit it with your legs, catch it with a straight arm. He's done four, he knows it, and uh, well, there's no way Luke Stallman can catch him now. But Brian, of course, is thinking about going through in first place. And that is his fifth rep on that monster dumbbell, gives him nine in total. Just a phenomenal display for Brian Shaw. Well, it all comes down to what the next two men do yeah! as to whether Brian Shaw will be the leader of this group after four events and whether he'll go straight into that final. And I'm afraid that second place, just four reps in total for Luke Stoltman, will likely see it will see him eliminated. He will not be in the stone off, Danny. The Brian Shaw, with such a powerhouse performance, nine reps. Well, nine reps is going to be really hard to beat. How strong was he in the beginning? Look at that. Those two dumbbells just chucked up like they were nothing, and then he got onto the big boy and bossed the boss, Danny. Well, Martins Lissis, the 2019 champion, looking on. He's not able to compete this year due to an injury, and Eddie Hall had a chance to catch up with him a little earlier. I heard on the grapevine you got knocked off your bike. I got hit by a car a couple weeks ago, going through a stop sign, but this car also went right through a stop sign, smashed into my left side, I flew over. I remember while flying in midair, my first thought was, oh, there goes my freaking strongman training for worlds. No broken bones. Got stitches on my left elbow. Really messed up my shoulder. Landed on my back. Micro fractures and tailbone. I hope it doesn't mess with my man parts. <laughs> First week, I couldn't move it. Right there, Five. that's all you got. We're in urgent care. Stitches. Sounds like you're lucky to be alive, to be honest, man. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Of course, I'm sad. Come on, OB. But I can't be out there. I could have pushed myself to be ready, but I would significantly lower my longevity, and I would never be able to get stronger than I was before. I don't want that. I want to go into the next world's strongest man, knowing that I'm the best version of myself. I'm going to win it next year. Well, the battle for first place between Shaw of the USA and the Brit Terry Hollands is fierce. Only one more event to decide who'll take the group and the automatic berth into the final. The continuation of the overhead press when we return to the SPD World's Strongest Man, presented by Rogue.